Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonnenkoff from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I want to talk to you about some updated software from Topaz called Gigapixel AI. It's a really cool program that allows you to up-res your images. So it works especially well if you have maybe a JPEG image that you maybe shot with your phone or a, a low resolution camera, or just maybe one that you had to crop heavily. And the software allows you to increase the scaling, the size of it, so you can print it bigger or just uh, make a larger size image even for the web. Um, the updates that they've made are, are that they've improved the algorithm that does the upscaling. So hopefully we're going to see much better quality. Uh, I enjoyed the program before at the old algorithm, but with the bug fixes and the updates, I think that um, the results are looking even more impressive. So let's head into the program and give it a look. All right, so here we have Gigapixel AI. And first, we're just going to open some images. Of course, I could just drag the images here, but I'm going to select some images that I had used with uh, their other program, Sharpen AI. And that kind of opens up another question for another day of whether you need both programs or all of their programs. But the nice thing is, is they're starting to combine their technologies in, in their apps. So I think in some cases you could probably get away with just getting one of these apps and uh, doing a pretty good job. But each one of their apps really tends to specialize and this one's about adjusting the resolution. And uh, it does have some other cool features that we'll see. So you can see here that it's put all the images in here. These are the input images. And you can see what size they are originally and what color space and what file name. If you wanted to get rid of an image, you can click on the X and, uh, and not process that image. Here you can see what the original image looks like before any processing, and here you can see the results after the options you choose here. Uh, on the output side, this is going to be the file name unless you change it. And here's the resolution again and the output uh, color space. So when we take a look at our options, we can adjust by scale, which just means by a factor of 2, 4, or whatever. Uh, we can adjust by typing in a width or a height. And if you pick a width or a height, it'll automatically adjust the image uh, on the other side to the proper scale so you don't get any warping. The other thing you can do here is you can choose some noise suppression. So you could use this as your noise removal program. The images I happen to be using in this case are not highly, you know, they're not real noisy. So uh, I'm just going to pick medium to low noise reduction. And the other interesting thing is they've added a remove blur function in case your image isn't completely sharp. And I think you can see here that in my original image, it isn't completely sharp. And it's looking much sharper on the newly processed image. So it's doing a really great job on the eyes and the eyelashes and, and making all that look much sharper. Um, right now, I happen to have this on high, but it does give you other options. You don't have to go all the way up to high. I did this with um, Sharpen AI, another one of their programs, and the results were very good there also. So whether you need both of these programs or not, it's depending on something I'll show you in the last image uh, down here a little bit later. Um, then you can pick a source of where you're going to output this to. All right, I'm going to pick a folder, and I'll just make a new folder under Pictures. And I'm just going to call it... Um, Gigapixel AI. Okay, so I'll let it put the folders in there. Um, I'm not going to change the name of the files or anything like that. I will allow them to be JPEGs, uh, maximum quality JPEGs. All right, and then I'll hit process. Actually, before I hit process, I do want to show you the other images. So as I click through each one, 
you can get a preview here of what it's going to look like when it's you know done processing and if you don't like something you can change whatever setting you have picked to see if you can improve it um, you also have control over how much you zoom in on the image okay so a hundred percent or in this case I want to see more of the image I'm gonna go with fifty percent um, that little button will put away the little preview or bring it back but that helps us to find where we are on the image plus you can just click directly on the preview and move around so we don't really need this little preview box but it's handy that it's there and again here on this second image you can see the hair is looking nice and sharp and the eyes and the face are looking a little bit sharper as well this image was quite soft Right. It's processing this one, and this one was fairly sharp to begin with. You can see that it's it's looking really sharp now on this side. Okay, another one that was pretty soft and quite a bit of improvement uh, after the processing. This one was extremely soft or really out of focus. Now here's the thing. If you only have a little bit of blur, this program could probably handle it just fine all on its own. But what I showed in my video um, about the Sharpen AI, it also can fix a little bit of focus. So here you can see by looking at the catch light in the eye, there is some motion blur there. It is a little bit out of focus. And when I ran it through the um, Sharpen AI, it really helped to improve that a bit more than this one has. You can see this one is really sharpening it, but it isn't really reducing the, the blurring of that catch light. So while this... Um, overall would probably do a good job for those special situations where maybe you missed focus having the sharpen ai might help as well all right so i'm just going to go ahead and process these images i'm going to hit play or start and you can see here it's going to run through them and make the new copies now in my full blog post i will post these and i'll post um, the ones that were done by Sharpen AI so that you can compare the two and see what you like better. But I've been impressed with all of Topaz's new AI programs, the Gigapixel AI, the uh, Sharpen AI, and the AI Clear, all been producing really good results. So this has been Gary D. Tonicourt from MotherThanASnapshot.com. And I hope you like this video and subscribe.